Hey guys, I just made a whole video. I have a whole mess sitting here for you, showing you a little kind of a weird haul and did it in slow motion. This camera I don't use very much and I just, I always forget to even check, you know, like what mode it's in. So I'm not going to let that upset me. <laughs> Today has been a weird day. I woke up and I still feel so, I feel more tired today than I did yesterday. And I don't know, I almost feel like I've been drinking or something. I don't know, it's a weird feeling. And Chanel's here. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna show you every little thing. I'm gonna show you my favorite things that I've gotten. And I'm going to show you weird things, things that you haven't seen on like everybody's Sephora haul. Matter of fact, they're not necessarily from Sephora. So the first thing is these sunglasses. Remember I told you I bought a backup of the other ones that I've been loving, the So Rich. So I bought a backup of those and I ordered these too. I don't know the name of these, but they're pretty. They're kind of that same... Um, they're not really the same look, you know, similar, I guess, but they're that same feeling when you put them on. They're very, very comfortable, easy to see out of, and I really like them. I don't like them as much as the other ones, but I can't, I mean, it's gotten to the point where I wear those every day. So I wanted to show you these. This is something that's kind of different for me that I ordered. I actually ordered this when I saw it on Instagram. And it's the Rowan. I don't think I've ever ordered anything from this brand. It's an eyeshadow palette, called, and the name of it is 1111. And it is these beautiful eyeshadows that are weird. Like, you cannot use them with a brush. I think they sell their own brush, but when I got them, they're so hard and weird, I thought, what am I gonna do with this? But I think that's the whole thing, is they're like cream and shadow so i'm just gonna play around with them i really do love that whole wet look on your lids so that's i think i was in that train of thought when i got them actually that color really does look good so i got this for us to try soon hey chanel uh the fenty hand mask i saw this on Babs Beauty. She was saying that she grabbed more of it during the sale. So I ordered this, I think in my first package. This is unlike any hand cream you've ever used. It's really not a hand cream. You're either gonna love this or you're going to hate this. That's how different it is. It is like a glycerin mask, I believe. I don't know, that's just how I describe it. It says use once a day before bed for external use only. Okay, when they mean before bed, they mean before you go to sleep. There's no way you could put this on and read a book or play on your phone. You're not gonna keep this in the car. It is so thick and sticky that it just, I mean, just covers your hands. And then when you wake up in the morning, you can feel the difference in your hands. So I grabbed one during the sale, and then the last day I went, on the last day of the sale, I grabbed a backup. I grabbed this primer. If this is nothing like weird or new, but it is for me. It's the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. They have been out of this at my Sephora for as long as I've been going in there. Even the tester has been out. So I had to try it, and I just tried it for the first time in my first video with you guys, and it's impressive. I mean, it's very illuminating, but in a different way. The only thing is I hope I can still use the flawless filter over this, but we shall see, but it is so pretty. It's illuminating in a different way, in the best way, I think. Okay, an oldie, but a goodie. The Matte Highlight 01, I have been using this for so many years and it's just you know things come and things go i have an old one like of this but i wanted a fresh one and i wanted to start using it again i just love it it's a highlight in a different way it's great for mature skin and it's good for like if you want to highlight right here if you want to highlight you know your chin but it's not like a bling highlight it's like a lighter powder 
illuminating highlight. It's just different. So I'll use that soon. If you've been with me, you've seen me use it a million times. I got the new Laura Mercier Translucent Pure Setting Spray, 16 hour invisible hydrating setting spray. So it's a hydrating spray that's supposed to make your makeup last. So to me, that's like when they say a glowy matte. It's like you don't think of those th two things going together, but we will see. I will be trying this and let you know. Okay, here's two weird things I had ordered that I love, I love. I think I saw these, everything I've got has lash glue on it. I think I saw these on, what is her name? Her name is, I just see her pretty little face. Her name is, oh my goodness. Hold on, let me think of it. Okay, I went to go get my phone to look it up, and right when I went to get my phone, I remembered it. Mariah Leonard. I've enjoyed, like, even her oldest videos. And she was bragging on these eye paints from About Face, and I actually had ordered some lip liners from them. I saw a girl on Instagram. I believe she's one of the Saint makeup girls. She loved the About Face lip liners, and I love those too. I have to maybe use those and these one day, but these are really pretty. I have this one on today as a base, and it's not, I don't like this color as much as the other, and I'm going to have to just write down underneath what colors they are because the writing is so small. I don't know if it'll pick it up. And then I actually ordered two of these accidentally, and I gave the other one to Brooke, and she likes it too. But the day I wore this, I'm noticing you have to wipe off the excess. I loved my makeup all day. It gives that really cool, like, you blend them out on your eyelids, and they just give that really cool, soft, shadow look so to the naked eye someone might not even know you have eyeshadow on it's not a, an eyeshadow look but what's cool about this one and man if you mix those they might make a really cool color too is you know how like kim kardashian and people with that skin tone have that really cool color around their eyes and they can just use that as a crease color they can just put highlight on and then they've got that really cool crease color that's what it reminded me of it's kind of like putting blush on your brow bone so really loved those and i wanted to tell you about those um, i picked these up i have never tried these blushes from mac the glow play and i used this one before i left blush please and I really liked it. It was a really good neutral blush. It's one of those where on that day you might not want pink cheeks, you might not want coral cheeks, you just want good cheeks. That's what this is for. And then of course, I always grab peach when I get blushes. Okay, these I just got in, my feet are gonna go to sleep, so I'm gonna need to sit down. I just got these in yesterday. I think my last box from Sephora was yesterday, and it's the new Velvet Story from Hourglass Lip Creams. I have one of them on today, and the one I have on is the darker one, and it is called Touch. These are really good. If you're someone who doesn't like sticky, but wants long-lasting, they're really a unique formula. They're kind of like moussey and velvety. And these two colors are beautiful. This one is much lighter. Let's see, it's called Hint. And then I'll show you the lip liner I'm wearing too. So see how they have just like that creamy, velvety texture, but I mean, I've had this one on for a long time now. I would say a long time, meaning like an hour and a half, drinking my Diet Coke, all of that good stuff. Okay, now let me show you the lip liner that I have on with it. This is Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. It's one of those artist pencils. Look how pretty it is. So that pencil and those two colors would be great. Just great, great nudes 
Oh, so pretty, especially that and that. I might have to wear that next time. Today I have on a, what, what foundation do I have on today? It is the Guerlain, and it's a little bit lighter, which is fine, because I'm gonna have some that are a little bit too dark, so mixing them both will be great. But that's what I have on, and I noticed, um, this is something I just wanted to tell you. I noticed when I wore, where is it? Where'd I put it, Chanel? Put it in here, yes. I used this today, and I had this down here, up here, prepared to tell you that I didn't like it, that it was patchy. But, I, right in the middle of telling you during my first video take, I forgot I tried to use this today. This is something I want to love. I want to love this because so many people, I can tell, feel so strongly. I mean, people are ordering backups of this, and I've had this before. I have never loved it. So today, I tried to do like they do, use a big brush and set my makeup with it. And... Evidently, I, first of all, I noticed no beautiful miracles happen. Then when I went to use this, it was patchy. And I blamed this, but then looking back, I think it was more of this not creating the same type of base that like Laura Mercier Translucent Honey does. So if you love this powder, Will you tell me if there's any tricks to it? Like, is there any special brush? Do I need a natural hair brush? What is it that makes people like this? So that's something I wanted to ask you. Okay, I grabbed two of the new Morphe blushes. I have not tried the cream one. The color is Provocative Petal. And I'm gonna do a Get Ready With Me not necessarily drugstore, but maybe some more inexpensive things like that you can get at Ulta and use one or both of these. So that is the cream blush that Morphe just put out. And then here is one of the powder. I just got one of each. This is Nude Pursued. And I have actually used this and loved it. So those are two kind of different things. I was trying today to just show you things that you haven't seen a million times lately. Okay, hello Chanel. I'm gonna take a picture so you can see what I'm looking at right now. Okay, this is kind of like good that we're doing take two because I can tell you my true thoughts on this. This is the Ilia Multi Stick Face Palette. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but I thought it was going to be kind of like cream lipsticks, but I just swatched that one, that one, and that one, and there was hardly any pigment at all. They were more like face glosses. So if I were you, I would probably pass on that unless, you know, unless something comes about that makes this work differently than I thought it would. I don't really care for that. Um, these, okay, these are two awesome products. This is from M Cosmetics and it is the Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow. Because, you know, I'm all about, I love that wet look, especially in the summer. I love when you just put one kind of wet look or sparkly shadow on and just your liner and lashes and good lips. I just love that look. Okay, so this one is Moonrise. And look how they're totally different than you think. But look at this. And it like blends for days. Like you can blend it way out and look how pretty it is. So those are just really cool and I will use those. Okay, I know I had a towel, yeah. I will use those soon. I'm gonna try to get back on track here. I want to do a traveling carnivore video and tell you about my experience with sticking to the carnivore diet. Absolutely no carbs, no cheating of any sort. And I just want to tell you my thoughts, you know, because it was, it was neat. It was a, a full-on, you know, conversation with myself the whole time. So I kind of want to share that with you and tell you what I thought. I grabbed the two blushes that I think Ariel and Kim Kardashian have made so popular at Sephora. I will try these, you know, not necessarily on camera or on camera and maybe in that inexpensive video and we'll see. But I got the... Flirted up, and then I got 
the one, this one reminded me of kind of like a sunburn color and it's called Heated, yeah, Heated. So we'll see how those look and how they last. This lipstick I've been wanting from Sephora. I don't think they've had this in stock ever since I started going in there because I always see it. And I, it's one of those things that every time I go in there, I check to see if it's in stock. And it's one of the Sephora lipsticks. And it's, I believe the, I don't know the name, but I believe the number is L24. And it looks like a good one. It definitely looks sheer. It's, it's one of those that's kind of um, like so um, emollient or so almost like a, a gloss in a stick. And so it kind of um, is messy when you try to put it on. But look how pretty the color is. What? I have the worst. I mean, you'd think I would know how to swatch by now. But I get carried away. Put too many swatches on my hands. But that's a pretty peach color. But let me try it. Let me wear it and then I'll tell you if I think it's worth it. Then this is kind of a dud and I've only tried it one time and it might just, it might have been the wrong brush, the wrong combination of makeup. I think I've seen Michelle Wong and other people talk about how much they love these blushes. It's also from M Cosmetics and this is the Heaven's Glow Magic Hour blush. And I tried to use this one day and it was like putting on nothing. I could not see it at all. But it, like I said, it might have just been a bad combination for this. So we'll see if I end up liking that. Um, I ordered a small little Tom Ford. It's so cute. When you've had the big one, this one is so cute. But it's a little to small Tom Ford um, Terra bronzer. This will be all I ever need. I love this size. I think the big one is just, unless you're someone with one bronzer, I think the big one's just too big. So loving that. Okay, then this is something that's old and I probably have looked at it, you know, three or four times and I thought, no, you don't like warm shadows that much. But I was watching a video, I don't know who, and they were talking about how much they love the Natasha Denona bronze palette. So during the sale, they had this at my Sephora and I went and looked at it and I thought, you know, I'm gonna give this a try. I have enjoyed this palette. It's not my favorite colors to wear because you guys know I really like taupey colors on my eyes. I really like the bronziest I like is like a bronzer. But these are just a good tone. They're not too rusty and they're not too pinky. Like I would never, there's nothing makes me want that new Patrick Ta rose palette. That's just not my favorite colors. But this one was just interesting and I was just interested in that color and that color too. And I really like them. They're very smooth. And like today I have on one of the gold shadows on my lid. So, so far so good. I mean, I wouldn't say, I'm not saying run out and get it, but I think that is the majority of the weird things that I got that just you don't see on every video and that I'll be using soon. And today, like I said, I'm just kind of out of it, but I didn't want to not film because I had some things I wanted to show you and some things I want to put up. So I don't have anything special on. I have not even brushed out my hair. I have on that bodysuit from Zara that I really like. I really, even John complimented me on this bodysuit. And then I have on the same, you know, pants that I wore yesterday, but these are in the black and I have on my Uggs. So that is what I'm wearing today. I probably will not go anywhere until I go to my parents to eat dinner. So happy Easter to everyone, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna do a get ready with me, or I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I'll see how I feel, but I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.